You do not want to waste your money staying at a Disney resort you will not enjoy, especially as an older adult or senior who will be spending a good portion of your visit to Walt Disney World at your resort. This video series will help you. Welcome to part three of our four part series comparing for older adults and seniors, the four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts. I'm Dan from Nancy and Dan Travel. This video is longer than most of ours, so sit back and relax to soak it all in. It doesn't matter why you, as an older adult or senior, want to stay close to Disney's Magic Kingdom theme parks. Perhaps you want to go to Magic Kingdom to see its collection of the 50th anniversary gold character statue. Perhaps you want to get a Disney Photo Pass clip like this one with you in it. Yes, that's Nancy and I up there on the portrait on the wall. Or perhaps you want to stay late at Magic Kingdom, sure, with the crowds like this night at the park, to experience its magic all lit up. This four-part series comparing the four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts from a mature adult's and senior's perspective will help you decide which one might be best for you. If you have not previously done so, we do suggest you may wish to first watch parts one and two of this four-part series. We'll put a link to each in the description below, and then you can return to this part three video. This part three video compares subjective aspects for each of the four Disney Deluxe Resorts closest to Magic Kingdom that are typically important to adults and seniors when staying at Walt Disney World. Be sure to add your comments to this video for additional subjective, some would say emotional aspects of these Disney resorts. Which ones we missed, which ones we got right, and which ones were just off the mark. Let's quickly set the stage for our comparison. As older adults and seniors, yes, I do have my own Medicare card, when it comes to our accommodations at a Walt Disney World Resort, we typically focus on the following aspects of the resort itself that you see listed here. We want high quality accommodations. We want a relaxing atmosphere and a tranquil, peaceful surroundings at the resort. We want solid dining options right at the resort. And we want easy access from the resort, not only to Magic Kingdom, but to all areas of Walt Disney World. In this direct comparison of the four Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts, we're going to assume that each of these resort items are the same that you see listed here. Now, as a reminder, the four Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts are Disney's Contemporary Resort in Bay Lake Tower, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, and Disney's Wilderness Lodge Resort. From part one of this four-part series, you will recall that each of these four resorts have the following resort amenities you see listed here. As well, here are some additional amenities you will also find at each of these Disney Deluxe Resorts. concierge and club level access guest rooms, character dining, retail stores, both table service and quick service restaurants, swimming pools and poolside food and beverage options, adult lounges, views to see both electric water pageant and portions of the Magic Kingdom fireworks right from each resort. With all that said, here are the four subjective categories we will use to compare these four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts from a mature adult and senior's perspective. You will want to be sure to stay to the end where we reveal the detailed subjective comparison scorecard for each of these four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts for you. With that said, let's start to compare different aspects of each resort that might attract non-resort guest crowds, i.e. those who are not staying at the resort yet who may want to spend some time there. Remember, the easier it is for non-resort guests to get to our resort and the more attractions right at the resort, then this will usually result with more non-resort guests going to the resort. And when there are more non-resort guests at a resort, this will create more crowds there for us adults and seniors who are staying there. From an ease of access by non-resort guest perspective, remember there is a reason three out of the four of these Magic Kingdom Disney resorts are called the monorail resorts. Having a monorail station at these three Disney resorts makes it very easy for someone not staying there to get to these monorail resorts on their way to or on the way from spending time at the Magic Kingdom theme park. These resort monorail stops, such as this one at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa seen here, makes it super easy for non-resort guests to spend time 
at all areas of these monorail resorts, whether it is to go shopping at the resort-specific retail stores or dining at any of its resort-specific restaurants. When it comes to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, its Easter time decor and Easter eggs, as well as the holiday time with its traditionally huge gingerbread house, as well as the beautiful dressing up of the main building's lobby with the huge Christmas tree, its garland and decorations as we see here, is an annual tradition that draws lots of non-resort guests from before Thanksgiving through to the end of the year. Remember also the wedding chapel that is located here, which also draws in wedding guests to the resort on wedding day, as well as the numerous high-quality restaurants at this resort such as Narcuzzi's, as well as the wonderful adult lounges such as the Enchanted Rose, a favorite of Nancy and mine for a long time now. It is such a relaxing lounge in the afternoon and evening. Remember that all four of these Magic Kingdom Disney resorts provide viewing of portions of the nightly fireworks from Magic Kingdom, as well as the wonderful electric water pageant seen here. This includes Disney's Contemporary Resort and Bay Lake Tower. They also have fine restaurants, yet subjectively, not with the same emotional pull or the events as other monorail resorts have in our opinion. What attracts non-guests to Disney's Polynesian Resort Village? The theming, for sure. There's also the very large beach area at the Seven Seas Lagoon to relax in, as well as to see the previously mentioned fireworks and nightly water patch. Disney's Wilderness Lodge also has much to offer non-resort guests, especially during the holiday season with its own huge Christmas tree in the main lobby and accompanying decorations and garland. Yet remember, Wilderness Lodge is not a monorail resort, so non-guests need to make a concerted effort to take a boat from Magic Kingdom or from Disney's Contemporary Resort or a Disney's bus if not driving their own vehicles from one of the theme parks or from Disney Springs. With that said then, the winner of the four Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts with less non-resort crowds would appear to be Disney's Wilderness Lodge, Copper Creek, and Boulder Ridge Villas. No monorail station, no wedding chapel, no gingerbread house. Less crowds means more relaxing, tranquil experience for older adults and seniors, guests staying at this resort. Next, let's compare the relaxing areas at each resort, both inside and out. Let's start with Disney's Wilderness Lodge since we're already here. For a change of pace, let's look first at Disney Vacation Club's Boulder Ridge Villas building, which is located a mere 90 seconds covered walkway from the Wilderness Lodge main building. On the first floor, there is a huge collection of quiet spaces inside as you see here. Some of these relaxing areas come with their own fireplace. Others come with their own card tables, all of them are in a relaxing, tranquil main floor of the Boulder Ridge Villas building. In the Wilderness Lodge lobby, there are numerous collections of comfortable love seats, couches, chairs, where resort and non-resort guests can relax. There are a few different fireplaces to relax, including in the main lobby and on the second floor. As well, we see here, there is the famous watering hole or bubbling brook with you with, with its own walking bridge right in the main lobby with its own set of rocking chairs. They're relaxing. There are also numerous outside seating areas to relax throughout the resort, including just off the main lobby itself of Wilderness Lodge building, as well as part of the Boulder Ridge Villas building. Out by the lake, so many places for adults and seniors to relax. Over at Disney's Contemporary Resort, there are some areas to sit and relax, including this outside area by the side of the main building that faces Magic Kingdom. This is a great viewing area at night to see Magic Kingdom all lit up, as well as, of course, the nightly fireworks. Over at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, the ground floor of the lobby is seen here has its own collection of chairs and couches to sit and relax, as does the second floor. There are also several outdoor collections of tables and chairs where adults and seniors can sit to relax outside. Some out in the sun, some covered. This includes a large collection of Adirondack and Muskoka chairs on the beach at Seven Seas Lagoon. Remember to stay to the end of this video where we reveal the scorecard comparing each of the four Magic Kingdom resorts from a subjective perspective for older adults and seniors. Over at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, there are several nooks in the main building with cushioned seating as well as chairs and couches in the main lobby's ground floor. Less though when the large Christmas tree and gingerbread house make their appearance during holiday time. 
the lobby at Disney Vacation Club's Villas of Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa is also a tranquil place with comfortable chairs to relax, as do many of the guest buildings. Here is one of the resort's outdoor relaxing areas, the beach facing Seven Seas Lagoon and Magic Kingdom. In the end, the winner of the Relaxing Resort Areas category is Disney's Wilderness Lodge. There are far and away many more inside and outside areas to sit and relax at this Magic Kingdom Disney Resort. If you're enjoying this video and learning more about these four Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts, that's great. Please do give this video a thumbs up if that's the case. Next up, let's take a look at the scenery and decor inside each of these four resorts. What older adults and seniors typically want when on vacation from their resort are interiors of common areas that makes them feel like they're on vacation providing a relaxing, chill vibe, if you will. Something that's unique that they don't see every day. Starting with Disney's Polynesian Villas Resort, you really cannot get much more of a relaxing, chill, and unique vibe than the South Pacific, can you? Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa certainly has an environment inside that one does not experience every day. One that tends to make one feel that we are indeed on vacation, regardless of the time of year. Disney's Contemporary Resort, for us, does not have that relaxing, on-vacation visual appeal. While certainly it has its appealing aspects for adults and seniors, some have compared it to being a convention hotel, which it is as it has a large convention building as part of the resort, as does Grand Floridian, or a large business hotel in the middle of any major city in the USA. Having traveled much of my pre-retirement work life, I would have to agree with this opinion. You may agree or you may feel differently. Do let us know in the comments or over at the Disney for Seniors Facebook group. Over at Disney's Wilderness Lodge, it's highly unlikely that anyone would compare the inside decor to that of a convention or business-oriented hotel. The collection of Disney's artifacts inside the Boulder Ridge Villas lobby or the wood carvings here or in the Wilderness Lodge building's main lobby. The fireplace, all promotes a relaxing, chill vacation vibe. We will speed up the video a bit here, but wanted to show you more of the inside areas that you might not be familiar with at this resort. So the winner of the indoor scenery and decor subjective category, in this case, we would have to call it a tie between these three resorts. All are beautiful and relaxing, each with their own specific theme. As an older adult or senior, you cannot go wrong with this subject of category at any of these three. Remember to stay to the end when we provide you with our scorecard comparison between these four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts for these subject of differences. Yet let's continue now to our last category, that being the outdoor scenery of the resort. Does the outdoor scenery of each resort help older adults and seniors to feel like they are on vacation mode? Does it have an inviting, relaxing vibe? Let's take a look, starting with Disney's Contemporary Resort and Bay Lake Tower. Again, we'll speed up this portion of the video as we walk out the back of Bay Lake Tower's Disney Vacation Club's build. In the immediate front of Bay Lake Tower, as well as Disney's Contemporary Resort, there is a large parking lot, so no need to show you that. You can see that anywhere. You can see it on the individual video review of this combined resort once we are done with this part three. Yet even with the trees in the back outdoor area of this resort, there is no mistaking the bare concrete facade and walls of the tower, as well as that of the contemporary building into which the monorail enters and departs. There's a nice garden here, right. and you see some nice views of Bay Lake that the resort backs onto, as does Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Yet as we proceed with our quick walk out back with additional views of Bay Lake, we continue to see lots of concrete, wide concrete wallways, concrete exterior of the buildings. Next, Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. There is no mistaking which resort you're at when you're outside. Multicolored exterior of the buildings combined with wood accents and stairways, lush green foliage and trees everywhere. The parking lot, as it is for all four of these Magic Kingdom resorts, is at the front of the resort. Yet, unlike, say, Disney's Contemporary Resort or Bay Lake Tower, you will not see the parking lot from your guest room because the buildings here at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort are only a few stories high and on an angle to the parking lot in front. We saw the beautiful beachfront earlier with the numerous Adirondack and Muskoka chairs pointing towards Magic Kingdom across Seven Seas Lagoon. 
Everywhere you see the lush landscaping and tranquil setting. The outdoor scenery and setting for Disney's Wilderness Lodge, Copper Creek, and Boulder Ridge Villas Resort is, depending on your personal taste, just as tranquil and relaxing. Any concrete is sculpted as you see here on the lower exterior. Lots and lots of wood beams on the outside of the buildings with lots and lots of tall trees everywhere. One of the sitting areas close to Bay Lake we see here has a small brook that pours out onto Bay Lake, providing that calming and serene water sounds. And of course, that expansive view from numerous areas out onto Bay Lake. Lastly, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. The unmistakable beauty of the white painted exterior with the red roof on all of the buildings. Finely manicured grounds. There's a reason this resort is frequently chosen by couples to celebrate a special event, like a wedding anniversary as Nancy and I did back in June of 2023. The view across Seven Seas Lagoon where you can even see the top of Cinderella's Castle. Now, which of the four Magic Kingdom resorts is our winner for the outdoor scenery for older adults and seniors? You have to say it's another tie between these same three Disney resorts. And now, a subjective comparison scorecard for the four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts. For non-guest crowds at the resort, we gave top marks indicated by the green rectangle for Disney's Wilderness Lodge, as it is out of the way of guests going to or returning from Magic Kingdom, as it does not have its own monorail stop. We gave on the same first subjective category a red for Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa due to it not only having its own monorail stop, as does the contemporary Polynesian Village, and has a walking path to or from Magic Kingdom, as does the contemporary or Bay Lake Tower, yet it has twice the number of restaurants that are at any of the other three Magic Kingdom Resort to bring in more non-resort guests. It has a conference center area, yes, as does the contemporary, for again, more non-resort guests. It has the wedding chapel. It has several different retail stores, more than any of the other three. The main lobby has the annual gingerbread house and tall Christmas tree and the Easter festivities, all to bring in more non-resort guests into the resort, reducing the feel of a relaxing, tranquil resort for some older adults and senior guests staying here, especially those who are staying for numerous consecutive nights. For relaxing areas, we gave top marks to Disney's Wilderness Lodge, Copper Creek, and Boulder Ridge Villas. There's really no comparison in our opinion with the immensely relaxing main floor area of the Villas building. It is unique to all of Walt Disney World. There's also the huge lobby in Wilderness Lodge main building with numerous areas to sit and relax, including another fireplace on the main floor as well as hidden away with another fireplace on the upper floors. And who doesn't like those rocking chairs at the brook also in the main lobby? Of course, the numerous relaxing areas throughout the resort. For indoor scenery and decor, we do feel that the contemporary resort's theming and large business hotel feel would detract from a longer stay for older adults and seniors. While the indoor theming of the other three Magic Kingdom resorts have very attractive and tranquil theming inside. For outdoor theming, the contemporary Bay Lake Tower, all of the bare concrete on the exterior of the buildings and large bare concrete walkways and back of the resort, in our opinion, are only partially offset by the wonderful views of Bay Lake out back. What do you think? Agree? Disagree? Let us know in the comments to this video or again, join the Disney for Seniors Facebook group and let us know your thoughts there. Remember, if you have not already done so, to watch both the first two parts of this video series. As well, you may want to look at our detailed review for each of these four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts on their own and their suitability for older adults and seniors, which you will find in the playlist displayed here for you. Feel free to share this video with their friends. Next time, part four, our conclusion. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.